Okay, so the Ice House is a place where Kiwi businesses grow and under that auspices we created the Business of International Quality Barometer, the BIQ Barometer, which is about measuring the impact we have in helping Kiwi SMEs grow. So you know, this thing started about 18 months ago. Uh, we hired uh, a lovely person called Elizabeth Jacobs uh, and really gave her the challenge to say, you know, how do we measure this international capability or business of international quality? Led to a lot of work, a massive amount of interviews as we went around successful New Zealand businesses understanding their DNA. When Andy first talked to me about his goal of, um, well the Ice House's goal of enabling a thousand businesses of international quality by 2020, my first obvious question to him was, well what is that? What is a business of international quality? What does success look like? And it is that first conversation that Andy and I had where we crystallised that notion or that definition that a business of international quality is, is really truly a business that can not only take its products or services or offering international but a business that can also defend its own domestic market position against international competitors coming in. So then we set out to really try and break that down, that definition that we had around what a business of international quality is. We wanted to then break that down into something tangible. Well we were approached by Elizabeth and, and I guess we were somewhat suspicious about what that approach was going to be. Um, worried that it was more uh, academia in terms of where main freight stood rather than from a purely commercial point of view. And I think what was interesting was that the university with Lisbeth and in conjunction with the, with the Ice House were looking at what was working in business, what was successful, what wasn't successful. Well, the BIQ survey represents what we call grounded theory, meaning that we start actually talking to business people and then try to construct questions that get at the issues that are important to them. Then the next phase is doing that iterative work where we try to refine the questions and reduce them down to a manageable group that still reflects the, the topics of interest. I think in this framework, the main strength of the work is that the, the focus has been slimmed on down to just six identifiable factors which a business can look at, uh, the governance, uh, your processes, your capital structure, etc. Something which I think many businesses are going to be thinking about but not necessarily sure if they're going to be all that important or at what stage they may be most important or in particular what might go wrong, what could be your blind spots in particular. Governance is really critical. Uh, you've got to have a board that can advise you, provide insight to your approach to your strategy. Um, you can't do that yourself a and just like everything else in your business you've got to have great people. Being a network business, we need leadership across both divisions, branches and countries. And the opportunity to develop that leadership around the world is important. So therefore our vision of wanting to be around for a hundred years in making decisions for the long term, not for the short term, and being able to allow those people to develop those businesses in an entrepreneurial fashion allowing those people to have the responsibility to grow them quickly and efficiently, but also to have the tools to grow them. The offering that New Zealand companies are putting out into the market is obviously critical. It's what they're selling uh, and making money from. And when I talk about IP, I mean more than just, you know, registered IP, patents, designs and so on. It's also uh, trademarks and branding. And probably most importantly, it's the know-how and trade secrets that's really the secret source in a lot of our companies that uh, gives them a real competitive advantage. New Zealand businesses, uh, they face a relatively small market in New Zealand. It's difficult to grow your business once you reach a certain size. You're going to be facing uh, problems of exporting, which companies overseas wouldn't encounter until maybe they're 3, 10, maybe even 100 times the size of a typical New Zealand company. Therefore, any information that could be offered on the best ways to internationalise your business, uh, I think would be particularly useful. For us, it was really simple because we never entered the New Zealand market. Market. We started as a company focused in the US market. So, you know, large, complex, geographically dispersed. It isn't even a single contiguous market. So you have to get really focused about who your on who your customer is and how you're going to reach them. So, you know, focus, focus, focus is, is really important on the world stage and, and something a lot of New Zealand companies, you know, just don't do well. 
Sound processes are very important to business success. In fact, it's one of the key areas that we came up with in terms of our research. And there was a great quote that John McDonald, the CEO of TradeMe, gave us as part of uh, our Fast 50 program, which it's not about having a good idea, it's all about execution. Look, I think the, the best area of business growth that Craig's can help explain is accessing capital. As a, as a private wealth business and as a capital markets provider in New Zealand, you know, we focus on, on uh, providing capital solutions. Capital will find its way to well-run companies a lot easier than companies that you know, are, are not well-run. The BIQ Barometer is an online self-completion tool that a business owner can fill in and get a gauge on where their strengths and their opportunities for improvement in their business are. I enjoyed the process of using the BIQ Barometer. It took me a whole day to pluck up the courage to actually complete the barometer. But as I was doing it, I realised it was a very simple, user-friendly, self-completion tool and that the results would be for me and my business alone and that, in fact, the insights would be incredibly useful. So um, it was then with great anticipation that I waited for the report to arrive, which came pretty rapidly, and, um, and I was delighted to see how my business was going on a number of levels, but also really intrigued to see the areas that I needed to pay attention to. The value of this sort of research to the New Zealand economy is that it will work to, I think, expand our export base, give us some extra high value added industries, some firms and some insulation the next time something nasty happens overseas. And the rule of thumb is something bad happens about once a decade at least, hopefully we're still a few years away, but diversification of industry from this sort of research, very positive outcome. Whether your idea of success is taking on an international market or solidly defending your local market position, the BIQ Barometer can help you grow your business through good advice and practical solutions.